man, the uni were serving up that sauce on Sunday at Audi Field. Damn! Hey, so the Philadelphia just finished up their Sunday match against DC United and here on Duke by the River, we're going to review that game. And sit tight, because that's all coming up next, my Lupetos. Eh! Done! Welcome everyone to Do By The River, the show where we follow everything Philadelphia Union with me, the Barcetto Philly. And if this is the first time you're tuning in to Do By The River, if you're returning back, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. But please, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for those notifications, and share this on any social media platform that you use to help me grow soccer here in Philadelphia. And our boys in blue just got done one of the most inspiring performances this season. As the Philadelphia Union faced off against DC United for the first time in MLS play this season. And in the preview video, I emphasized that this match would be extremely important. The Union just came off another embarrassing 4-0 away loss. And with the rest of the Eastern Conference team starting to catch up with the team, it was super important for this team to walk away with three points. But we got something that we totally did not expect. Let's start off with the formation and starting 11 that the MLS coach of the week, Jim Kirchner, went with. And starting a goal, who else, guys? Andre Blake, our all-star, our Jamaican, our goalie. Got a start, and let's just say it was an easy night for him. Large part to do with the team in front of him. They actually showed up and played. But despite not getting the clean sheet, Andre would have a pretty good match. And in the back line, starting from left to right, we got Kai Wagner, Aurelien Collin, Jack Elliott, and Ray Gattis. Let's start off with Aurelien Collin, because Austin Trusty, who we usually see at that center back position, did not get the start. And we've been talking about his play over the past couple games, how it has not been the best. And Aurelien Collin was a smart move. We already know that Aurelien Collin is an MLS vet. But what really Colin brings to this back line that Austin Trusty frankly just does not is number one, the leadership, number two, the experience, and number three, he's a great communicator. Something very underrated by his game is his communication. He talks to everyone in the back line and he calls you out if you're out of place. And that is something so huge, especially when we're fielding a back line with three guys who are under 25. Kai Wagner came in this match with a vengeance and had a pretty solid game, even getting an assist here. Big ups to Kai. Jack Elliott, my God, he was back to the guy we saw before that contract extension. He was fearless. He was ballsy. He was getting into the play. Really got to applaud Jack on his great performance. And then Ray Gaddis. Ray's been getting a lot of criticism, especially in those two bad losses that we lost four to nothing. He was solely picked on not only by the Union fans, but by MLS media. And he would have a solid match there as well. In the midfield, starting from left to right again, we saw another little bit of a surprise. At the left shuttle midfielder, we saw Warren Craveball get his first start this season. At the sixth role, Harris Madunian. At the right shuttle midfielder, our captain and our hero. Alejandro Bedoya, and at the tip of the diamond, Marco Fabian. These four, what can I say? They had a huge match here. They were the sole reason we dominated in this match. And let's give the big ups to Jim Kirchin here. He went with something a little bit different here. Jamiro Montero was ready to play in this match, but he decided not to start him. He's very smart on his part. And what Warren adds to the game is something that Jamiro does. He's great on the defense and is so crucial for counterattacks. He doesn't have the technical ability or attacking skills that Jamiro has. But being that clog in the midfield was so huge. Marco Fabian probably had his best game as a member of the Philadelphia Union. Still not playing up to that 10 role, but still he is a threat on the attack. And he got two goals here in this match. But in all honesty, when you got Harris Medunian, who is a great distributor of the ball, do we really need Marco Fabian to play the prototypical 10 role after this match? I think he answered that question, guys. In the 56th minute, Jameer Montero would come in for Warren Curry Ball. Number one, finishing this match off, but number two, letting Jameer Montero getting his feet wet. This guy's missed the last three matches, and allowing him to play in those final 30 minutes will be huge going into the next match. And up top, Jim Kirchner switched it up again. He went with Andrew Vooten and Kasper Shabilko. Vooten got his first start 
as a member of the Philadelphia Union, damn you look good out there. Now he wouldn't get a goal here, but you constantly saw him hustling on the high press and he is such a threat in that box, it's ridiculous. And the way he positions himself and moves around in the final third is something we have been missing this season. I really can't wait to see more of Andrew Vu. Casper Shabilko, solid match. However, did miss the PK, which leaves us with this question, who is going to be the penalty kick shooter on this team? Now, Jamiro Montero has been mainly the penalty kick shooter since he took the reins from Marco Fabian earlier this season, but when he is hurt, we got to find someone else. Casper has caught his first shot and he missed the freaking PK, but it's all good because we still won. And Casper, had a good game. From the start of this match, the Philadelphia Union would dominate in every aspect. And in the third minute, Andrew Root would steal the ball in the final third and pass it off to Marco Fabian, which would then find Alejandro Bedoyan streaking down the center of the pitch. And Ali would hit a nice low shot to the far left post and would find the back of the net. And this is where we would see the iconic celebration that Alejandro Bedoya performed after this goal. And it was the headlines all around the MLS. And I actually made a video about it. I'll put a link up here as well as a description down below so you can watch that video. In the 40th minute, things would get worse for DC United. As defender Junior Moreno from DC United would go ahead and challenge Casper Shabilko in the box, which would lead to a penalty kick. Obviously, Casper would miss that shot, but that would leave DC United with 10 guys on the pitch. With two minutes in injury time in the end of the first half, Harris Medunia would travel the ball into the box and would then use an outlet pass to Kai Wagner, who would send her into the center of the box and found Marco Fabian, who would crack it in the back of the net to put the Union up two to nothing. And in the beginning of the second half, the Union would continue what they were doing in the first half. And then in the 52nd minute, DC United would turn it back over to the Union and the Union would start another counterattack. Warren Craval would find Casper Shibiko on the left-hand side of the box, which Casper would then put in the back of the net to put the Union up three to nothing. And a minute later, DC United would actually catch us sleeping on the defense and would get a time goal as DC United center back Frederick Brillan would put the ball in the back of the net to cut the deficit three to one. In the 69th minute, Harris Mead would make a smart pass to find a streaking Marco Fabian on the right hand side of that box and Marco would get a little deflection off the DC United defender to put it in the back of the net and getting his second goal. Union would be winning 4-1. to one. And to put the icing on the cake, the recently sub Fafa Pico would come on and get the last goal to put the cherry on top, giving the Union a 5-1 lead and winning this game 5-1. to one. Now overall, this was a great performance from the goalie Andre Blake, our back line, midfield and forwards, everyone contributed and did their part. And from the minute this game started, we saw an intensity. We saw a Philadelphia Union team that we want to see all season long, game in and game out. They were tenacious. They were disciplined. They looked like the first place team in the East. But here's the problem here. For every DC United match we have, are we going to have another Montreal or Real Salt Lake? This is a great result and I love it. And it was so much fun watching this game, seeing the Union laid on DC United. And may I mention, Audi Field has become a little bit of a home field advantage for us we played pretty damn well down there this is a win we really need but going forward we have to continue this play we're not going to play like this every game and i know that but having performances like we did against montreal and real salt lake cannot happen again now that we're in august the philadelphia Union are still in first place it seems like they are getting more and more respect not just from our league the league seems to notice philadelphia but from our city in general, we had a whole page in the Philadelphia Inquirer dedicated to us. People are realizing the Union are still in first place with two months left in the season. Not only that, our I-95 rival, DC United, not only do we embarrass them in their own home, Ali Bedoya stole headline news, but also the big news after this game is that the rumors of Wayne Rooney leaving have been confirmed. And it seems like Wayne Rooney after the season will be heading to Derby County to become a player coach. I didn't even know those still existed, but you know, Wayne is, will be leaving DC. And you know, as a union fan, I'm happy because you know, DC is going to suck again. But as an MLS purist, this is not good for the league. This is a star who's having success here and is leaving. And it's kind of sad to see in that aspect, but I'm sure we will get another star to come to MLS very soon. And up next for the Philadelphia Union is our rematch. This is a big game. We are playing against Houston Dynamo and we will discuss this in full depth 
in the preview video, but we can now forget the US Open Cup final last season. Guys, those are my thoughts on the Philadelphia in this match. Great win here and a great weekend overall by our guys. The win and Ali Bedoya's strong, impactful message. I'm so excited moving forward with this season here. But guys, I wanna hear from you. In the comments below, let me know how you feel about the union after this big win and going forward. Again, I will leave a link in the descriptions below for the video about Ali Bedoya's iconic celebration. And please guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button and share this on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the social media platforms that you use to help me grow soccer here in Philadelphia. But until next time, my Lupetos, do fall.